Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you today playing some Final Fantasy 2. Do you remember last time uh, we beat Mylan, the one of the four fiends of the elements there that was sent by uh, Golbez to kill us and we whooped him. Wasn't even a deal. So now we can go cross this bridge here. Alright, looks like we're doing fine. Okay. Wait, what's this? My true strength lies in death, and with it I drag you all to the abyss. What? Uh-oh. Oh my god. I love this music, by the way. In case you can't tell. Ooh, boy. Oh boy, I couldn't get that done soon enough. Uh, we're gonna heal. We're gonna heal Palum here, because he's already been poisoned, so we'll take care of that. We're gonna have Cecil attack. And we're gonna have. We're gonna do some twin. So we're fighting Mylan Z, in case you can't tell. It's a zombie version of Mylan. Boy, does he look vicious. Ooh, that did some damage. Oh my goodness. So, this, in case you can't tell by the freaking rad music, is the actual boss battle with the four fiends of the elements. The last one, we were, yes, we were fighting Mylan, but it didn't count as the actual four fiends battle. This is it. This is the real deal right here. And boy, this guy's a little bit tougher than his live version of himself. Comet! I like Comet. I'd rather see... Oh, well, I guess Flare hurt him a whole lot more, probably because he's undead. Which means I could be using Cure 2 on him if I wanted. Um, I don't know. Man, there's not a lot to say about this battle. It's just, it's a pretty tough one. Uh, it's, it's probably the first truly challenging battle you run into or you actually might lose it. In fact, I might. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. But, uh... That was not worth it. Okay, we'll try doing Fire 2 here. Um... So here's a little bit of Final Fantasy 2 trivia for you. Oh, I guess we're not gonna die. We just killed him. There he goes. The four fiends of the elements in this were actually named after uh, creatures or entities of some kind from Italian folklore, which is unique for Final Fantasy. Usually they draw from other regions in the world, but it gives a lot of experience, too. That's nice. Oh, there's Mylan. Beat me. That's right, I beat you twice. I'll beat you again, dude. Come on, let's do it. Laters. Let's go save it again. <laughs> uh, anyways... Their names are drawn from Italian folklore. That guy named Mylan, well, they call him Mylan in this version, but uh, his actual name was supposed to be uh, Scarmiglione, and it was translated as Mylan. I guess the Milione part is where they got that, but uh, uh, yeah. And the other ones all have names also from Italian folklore. Cagnazzo and uh, uh, Barbariccia and Rubicante, whose name was actually pretty close, Rubicante. This became Rubicant in this one. Um, and you'll, well, why am I talking about Rubicant already? It's a little ways off. We'll meet Rubicant, and we'll call him, we'll just call him Rubicant. So here it is, a little thing I like to call the Porta Potty of Destiny. Um, let's go into Porta Potty of Destiny. sword. Here we go. And there he is. The new and improved Cecil. 
Conquer your darkness within. Sacred power of light will not accept you. Oh my god. Two Cecils. Cecil! Okay, let's do it. So let's attack this guy and see what happens. What's he doing? What? You know what bugs me? I couldn't do that when I was that Cecil. I didn't get to do that nonsense. Let's cure here. Look how different Cecil looks, dude. He looks to be a real paladin. What? To be a real paladin what? Dang it, I better cure again. You must not fight now. So we're not supposed to attack this guy. Can I tell you something funny about my, my life? When I first played this, I misread that. I read to be a real paladin, you must fight now. And I attacked this guy for a while, and I'm thinking, why the frick is he not dying? Because you're not supposed to attack him. Yeah, I wasn't that good at this game. I got a heal. With a, I'm using a cure, too. I'm doing it. I don't want to die. So as you can see, Cecil now has some white magic. He's got cure one right now, but we'll get more. Oh boy. Justice is not the only right in this world. Someday you will see. Go, Cecil. When you see that text pop up, justice is not the only right, that means you won the fight. And that's it. You can see the little reflection in the mirror. Still is Dark Cecil. Stop Golbez. Wait. Well, Cecil, good job, buddy. Yeah! Oh my. What's wrong with Tella? He remembers. He recalled all the spells he had forgotten. What? Me Medio? Tella learned Medio! Well, how about that? Alright. What are we doing now? To tell you the truth, we what? Let's go get Golbez. Tell's excited. He wants to try out that meteor on Golbez's face. The light, it called me my son. That light must be Cecil's father, apparently. Cecil's dad is light. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, leaving the porta potty of destiny. <coughs> Let's check out this new magic telling us. What? Look at this. Look at this spell list. Look at this. We've got it all. Lit three. Telenos lit three. Of course, he has Medio. And to point out right here, you can see the MP cost for Medio is 99. Note that Tella only has 90. Currently, he doesn't even have enough MP to use Medio. Maybe after he gains a few levels. But you can see we can use all this stuff. Look at this. Look at everything we can do here. Cure 4? He has Cure 4. Goodness gracious. Let's check out Cecil's equipment. Okay, that's less spectacular. Got the cool looking legend sword, but kind of disappointed by the cloth armor and whatnot. Bet you the leather armor is better. Yeah, it is. So we'll give him that. Sorry that you're outfitted with this junk right now, Cecil. We'll get you some better stuff pretty quick. 
Hey, it kept all Cecil's black armor and everything, and black sword and all that. I'd like to have that stuff back so I can sell it. It was expensive. All right. And look at what level Cecil is. He's level one. Cecil's level one. Look how much experience it requires for him to gain a level. 23 experience, and he'll gain a level. So we're going to save it. And I'll let you stick around. Bye-bye, Dark Cecil. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. We'll head down the mountain. I gotta go grab, you know. Well, you know, soda. Oh, soda. Okay. So now let's head down the mountain here. And you know what? Oh, goodness. Surprise. And boom. It was done. So, we got 545 experience. Well, Cecil gained a level. That's good. Oh, Cecil gained a level. That's cool. Learn sight. That's cool. Cecil gained another level. That's great. Oh, he gained another level. Wow, dude. Oh, my goodness. Dude's a level gaining fool. How about that, Cecil gaining all them levels? What level is he now? Level 6. And he knows sight. He can gain some MP. Up to 687 hit points. Cecil's getting pretty beefy. Come on now, soul now. Alright, this is the exact same battle I just did, and I didn't have much trouble with it, so... We'll do it. I really like the sound of him attacking. I don't know, that sword swinging just sounds really rad. If I'm not mistaken, fire's gonna heal that flamey thing in the... Yeah, I thought so. Alright, well, we'll tag him with some ice one, see if that kills him. Alright. Nice. Okay. Cecil gained a level. Cecil gained a level. Learn peep. Palum gained a level. Porum gained a level. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen. I thought it was going to be all about Cecil. See, I don't know, man. Cecil's already really beefy when he first becomes a paladin. But then he just, like, starts gaining levels like crazy because he's level one. So, like, you know easy for him to gain levels, right? I don't want to fight these guys. Um, in fact, I think it might be a good time to demonstrate what Tella can do with this spell here, Exit. <gasps> Can't do it! It won't let me use Exit! Alright, we'll just walk. Exit is supposed to take you immediately back to the world map, but apparently, you can't do that. You know what? I'm gonna run. I'll tell anyone I'm, I suck at this game and I run from fights that I should be fighting to get Cecil to gain some levels. There's really no good reason for me to be running right now, other than that I'm really super lazy. Look, I could make up some excuse about it eating up time in the episode, but shoot, I could just cut away from the battle and do it. But I'm, for some reason, not doing that. I don't know. I guess I'm just super mega lazy. We're almost out anyways. We're at the last area here. Oh, one more step and we would have been out of Mount Ordeals without fighting. I yeah, will fight these guys, why not? Let's try out Fire 3. Try out some of Tella's new rad magic here. So that guy's dead. Right, let's see some Fire 3, Tella. Tella, Fire 3! Fire 3, do it now! Come on, Tella! I believe in you! There it comes, Fire 3. What? Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Yeah, Tella. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, you're probably thinking, well, that was a waste of MP. Why'd you have Tella just waste those MP? You suck at this game. And you're right, I'm not that good at this game. But, I can do this. And then I can go catch the white cocoa to fill up everyone's MP. Gotcha. And I can go catch a yellow Kokobo to ride back to Mesidia. I like Kokobos. Kokobos are wonderful. If you've never played Final Fantasy VII, I suggest you play it. You'll gain some appreciation for Kokobos because you get to do some cool Kokobo racing stuff. 
It's just great. It's just all around great. If you've never played Final Fantasy VII, you probably have no business watching this uh, Let's Play series. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to this armor shop and pick up some of this paladin gear that we saw in here earlier that we didn't have much of a use for. Going to get a shield, going to get a helmet, going to get an armor thingy, and we're going to get a gloves. So let's equip all that. Jeez, Cecil, you're getting to be expensive, buddy. All right, 10 and 4 becomes 12 and 5. Uh, 12 and 5 becomes 17 and... You kidding me? Okay. <laughs> 17 and 4 becomes... 26 and 6, and then 26 and 6 becomes 31 and 7. So we end up doing pretty good on defense there. We can get rid of some of this other junk. We don't really... Well, maybe we better hang on to that stuff, because you just don't know when you're going to need it. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Let's go outside and save it before we go talk to the boss man. All right, so we're trying to get to Baron. Now it just so happens there's a handy little transport that leads from Mesidia to Baron, but the Mesidia folks sealed it off after Baron attacked them in Solar Crystal. Makes sense. You really became I really became what? You really became old while we were gone, old man. Oh, okay. Ah, there you go. So Palam and Porum were just spying on me. Oh my goodness, that sword. Same as the Mesidian legend. What a legend? Is a legend? Oh, the blue screen of legends with the Final Fantasy song. For those of you who don't know, Final Fantasy 1 begins a lot like this. Blue screen with white text appearing one line at a time over this song. One to be born from a dragon, hoisting the light in the dark, rises up high into the sky to the, to the still land. Veiling the moon with the light of eternity, it brings another promise to Mother Earth with a bounty and mercy. The light called me son. Well, apparently there we go. <gasps> Sure that you are the one. Well, I guess Cecil's a pretty big deal. Tella knows this old guy. Oh boy. Medio. Avenge Anna with my Medio. Yeah, that seems like a good reason to whip out the most powerful black magic in the history ever to avenge your daughter. It's not selfish or anything to unleash such a magic onto the world. Whatever, tell him you're cool. Oh, boy. But Cecil has become a paladin if you join forces. we got to get back to Baron. Open the Serpent Road. He's going to confine himself to the Tower of Wishes, and he's going to wish. So here we go. I get, oh, Paladin Porum got something to say about this. to go with him. Okay. So I guess Palm and Porum are coming with us. Da, 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 da. All right. Go through the Serpent Road. Okay, let's do that. So there's a building here in Mesidia. A serpent road thingy in it. I think it's this building. There it is. So, um, yeah, let's just go. Step on this bad boy. And off we go. Only time in the game you hear this creepy music. Here we are on the barren end of the Serpent Road. Well, okay. Looks like we made it to Baron. So I guess we gotta go storm the castle. Let's do it. Alright, we're gonna we'll, we're come what? What are you? 
What do you mean, what am I? I'm Cecil. Let me in, jerks. Well, these guys aren't going to get out of our way. That means we got to find another way into Baron. Um, unfortunately, we are done for this episode. But, I'm sure we can find another way into the Castle Baron. And I'll bet you it has something to do with one of these, one of these doors here. I'll bet you it has to do with this one. I'll bet you if we could get inside of this door that's locked, we could probably proceed. So, we're going to see about getting that door unlocked, and I'd like to unlock this one too, because it has the weapons and armor I'd like to buy in there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to head outside and uh, save it so we can shut it off. And I hope that you are having the most spectacular day ever. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and we'll get into Baron and do some cool stuff next time. Thanks. Alright. Yeah.